My name is Dennis Radebush. I'm Vice President of Engineering for Curtis Dynafog Limited. We're in Westfield, Indiana. And we make sprayers and foggers for all types of applications around the world. In many cases, there will be a natural disaster that uh, would happen, like earthquake, fire, flood. In this case, uh, earthquake in Haiti. And we take pride in trying to be a first responder on the scene to control uh, vector-borne disease, like maybe carried by mosquitoes. In this case, dengue fever or malaria. Lift the lever to open the carburetor. Push the primer bulb twice. It's not unusual in tropical regions like this, you know, to have 150,000 cases of malaria uh, diagnosed in a month's period. So, um, you know, two million people die a year of that disease and, and we want to be uh, there in a hurry to give Haiti one less uh, problem to have to deal with. Push the ignition button to start the spark plug. Operate the air pump to start the machine. Operate the valve to start the fog. The World Health Organization um, every year has a, has a convention in Geneva to help uh, with the awareness of the importance of spraying and fogging, uh, to put guidelines on the parameters for doing that and a lot of times spraying and fogging may get a bad rap because it's not always viewed as something that's environmental friendly but uh, when it comes down to it if like anything else if it's if you adhere to the standards that are set forth and you do it in a responsible manner then the best benefit can be gained by all <laughs>